Welcome back to Car Finance Simplified folks, JD here again. This is a very quick video just to show you a new and important update which I've added to the infamous PCP spreadsheet. Stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back, hope you're all safe and well. Um, if you're not familiar with this channel, I often make use of a PCP, HP, settlement kind of car finance spreadsheet. And if you would like to obtain a copy of this, including any future updates I ever make, please just send me an email here. Um, and for a one-off payment of £10, you will get access to this spreadsheet and all its updates for as long as I make them. So it's a very useful tool. Um, and version six, which we are now on, has seen me add a comparison tab, which basically enables us to compare everything on two different quotes. So rather than trying to manually calculate differences and that kind of thing, this new tab does it for us. So what I'm gonna do is just take a very simple example. So let's say we've asked for a quote, the car is 25 grand, we're putting 500 quid deposit in, it's got a guaranteed future value of 10 grand say, and the starting month is October 2020. And the quoted APR is 5.4. And on the first quote, we notice that even though we asked for 48, uh, a 48 month agreement, there are 47 equal payments. And that's because some agreements are what I call term minus one. So 47 equal payments and month 48, where your optional balloon or guaranteed future value lies. So let's use that for the first example. We go to another dealer, everything is exactly the same apart from the term. So 25 grand purchase price, 500 deposit, guaranteed future value of 10 grand, starting month of October 2020, 5.4 APR, but this time there are 48 equal payments and 49 month 49 is where your final value lies. Now rather than having to kind of keep going back and forth between the tabs and kind of manually calculating what the differences are, if we now go to the summary tab, we can see, look, that everything green relates to the first quote and everything red relates to the second. So we can see that the red quote, the second quote, is £6.43 a month cheaper. Well, of course it is because it's a longer term. And that's why I always say, you know, don't just go on the monthly payment because at first glance, you're going to go, wow, I'll go to the second dealer because it's £6.43 a month cheaper. Well, yes, it is. But in the big scheme of things, if you run it the whole term, you can see that's actually £78.04 more expensive. Where does that come from? Well, simply, it comes from the fact that the monthly payments if we run it full term, yes, are £302.43 um, uh, in total cheaper. However, you've got one more monthly payment to make on the red example here of £380.47. So essentially, sorry, £380.47 less £302.43 gives us this value here. So you can see, oh, well, yes, it's cheaper monthly, but it's £78 more expensive because, oh, bang my microphone there, excuse me, because there's one more month. So that's quite useful to see. If we go over here, we can then say, okay, well, what will these agreements cost me? Let's say, let's say I come to three years and I want to sell the car. How much am I going to owe on this agreement to get out of it? So if I type in 36, look, it tells me that to settle the green agreement after three years will cost us about 13,400. And on the red, it will cost us 13,677. So yes, after 36 months, we have paid 231 pounds less in monthly payments. That's essentially 36 times this difference here. But it's gonna cost us 259 pounds more to settle the red agreement and the green because you've got one more month on the term. So overall, it's going to be £28 cheaper to run the green agreement than the red agreement and settle after three years. And you can do that for anything. So after a year lot, you can see, yes, it's going to cost us 77 quid less in monthly payments, but it's going to cost us £86 more to settle. 
£9.38 difference. Obviously there's not much of a difference here because everything is the same apart from the turn. But you know you could easily go in and go well actually I'm going to make the turn the same. So obviously absolutely no difference on anything. But what happens if one dealer quotes as in this case 5.4 and another dealer quotes as 3.9? We can then see, look, that it's £21.62 a month cheaper to go with the red agreement than the green. Over the life of the term, just by that 1.5% difference in APR, it's a £1,015 difference in saving. And again, at settlement, look, we can go, OK, well, you know, I've come to 18 months, I want to sell it. Well, £389 difference in monthly payments and also £135 less to settle. So £524 difference, not only because of the lower monthly payment, but because there's less interest, so therefore the settlement is going to be lower as well. What I've also added on here, I've brought together this summary tab here, which kind of gives us the charges with or without overpayments. So you can see here, look, the green total charges over the period 3684, uh, total charges without overpayment on the red agreement 2668. So you can see there's a hell of a lot of difference there. That's where the £1,015 comes from. But if we make an overpayment, let's say after month 12, we come into a bit of cash, maybe we get a bonus from work or something. And at month 12, I'm going to put in a £2,500 overpayment on both. Let's see what difference that makes. So two and a half thousand. You can see here the difference is now nine hundred and eleven pounds after we've made the overpayment. OK, so you can see the total charges there. Look, three, six, sorry, three, three, zero, zero. Now we've made that overpayment and two, three, eight, nine, which gives us a total difference of nine hundred and eleven. Loads of different things you can do now. And it's really handy. And I wish I'd have thought of it sooner because you can just literally compare two quotes and at a glance see exactly what difference that's making in terms of monthly payment, total charges and what it's going to cost to settle these agreements at any given time throughout the term. OK, so uh, I hope that was useful. Like I say, if you if you haven't already purchased a copy and would like to donate and get a free copy, get a free copy, get a copy for £10, um, and as many updates as I ever make, please do send me an email here. Please do also email me here if you've got any questions about your current deals or you're thinking of, you know, buying a car and you've been sent a quote. I can always take a friendly look at it for you. Um, I hope that was useful. Um, I will see you next time because I can't speak very well today. Um, take care. All the best.